Welcome back to Asgard, and welcome to episode 36 of our Infotech 2 modded Minecraft Let's Play series. So if you recall last episode, we started getting into oil a little bit, and, um, you know, working through the quest book here, and it, it appears like we're getting close to HV power. Um, so we're, today we're going to be continuing with our quest book a little bit. I've done some reading on all of these. Um, most of these are pretty basic, like a new jetpack. We've got some uh, cheaper basic circuits. Um, we got a transformer. Now this is a multi-block that we'll end up building um, probably fairly soon. I don't know if we'll get to that this episode though. And then this is kind of an interesting block. Um, I haven't, you know, we haven't automated too, too much in this series just yet. Um, <laughs> because everything takes so many machine parts and everything's been pretty stout to do you know we automated the tree farm and stuff and that took a few episodes but i feel like once we get to hv power that's when we can really start setting up for like full ore automation and uh whatnot and you know hopefully here soon we'll get into applied energistics which is going to be wonderful i think for this series it's going to help it out a ton because it's just going to make our life a whole lot easier um one thing to note i have noticed a bug um, I don't know if this happens to everybody. It was happening when I first set this up, um, but I thought, you know, maybe it's just a temporary thing, but it's still happening. So if you put the recipe for the electric pump, the MV electric pump into here, you'll notice it just goes crazy with clicking, um, almost like we're using our wrench or something. Um, but like I said, I don't know if that happens to everyone. So uh, just a heads up on that. Um, so let's go ahead and make this transformer because it seems like that might lead into our maybe our HV power and this thing's fairly easy to make just some copper cable uh, MV machine hull and some gold cable so I've got some gold wire here and <clears throat> then we can just throw this in the assembling machine right am I crazy this is not What circuit do we need for this? 24. I've got my 24 circuit. Forgot I pulled it out. I was making something. I think it's in here. Not that one. Hmm. Where did I put that? Oh, here we go. Okay. So now we're on track. Um, that's one thing. I feel like our life's going to be a whole lot easier once we get to HV. Um, or once we get to applied energistics because just having everything searchable all of our items and everything is just gonna make our lives so much easier I feel like um, because we have we honestly have machine parts everywhere literally everywhere so I'm hoping that we'll hit that before long now I did do a little bit of looking around and stuff and it would appear that getting into applied energistics at the moment wouldn't be terrible the only thing is um, when I was looking at it, I did know that the I did notice that the Emmy drive takes titanium, um, which we don't have at the moment. Um, the, we could do it with Emmy chess, but that's just kind of a little bit pointless, I feel like. So um, to get the titanium, um, it's kind of involved from what I can tell. Um, we're going to have to, see, I believe it's in the blast furnace. Um, some, I think, is it, no, not magnesium. Oh, where's it at? Or maybe it's the liquid based one, I believe. Is there a fluid solidifier, molten titanium? I can't recall. It took me a little while to find it. I'll end up doing some reading. Um, it seems like we're just about to that point, but um, if I recall, I think it's still a little bit beyond us. Maybe. Um, <clears throat> let's see. We've got this locker. Oh, it can take armor, and we can switch between it, and it can charge that armor up. However, we don't really have any electrical powered armor um, at the moment. And then we've got high voltage machine hull. 
So this is going to take polyethylene, stainless, HV machine casings, and gold cable. Um, and to get these HV machine casings, oh, it's stainless steel all the way around. Okay. Well, we've actually got some stainless in here. Enough to make one. Um, shoot. Well, we could make a hull, but we couldn't actually make the casing. I mean, we could make the casing, but not the uh, machine hull. So we might get ourselves one of these. Oh, whoops. Kind of exciting to be starting into HV, I think. But I have a feeling it's going to be fairly expensive. So to actually get this, we're going to need... Let's go ahead and get some more gold cable. It seems like that's something that we're going to be needing a bit of here fairly soon. Where's the gold? Oh, graphical bug there. Uh, let's go ahead and get a bit of this stuff made. <clears throat> and we'll get that running through. Um, and then our material bag, we got some steel and some lead, which I will take it. Now, I have noticed we don't get a ton of, you know, throughout our material bags, if you've noticed, we haven't got a whole bunch of actually like aluminum and stuff. We've pretty much had to make that um, by hand from what I've noticed. We're actually up to a decent amount of steel again. Um, silicon, I don't think I have a spot for silicon in here. I don't think so. But, um, you know, we haven't gotten a whole lot of the actual materials that we use a lot of. It's mainly been, um, you know, a lot of the LV type stuff. And let's see, we should have, yeah, we've got some stainless in here. So let's get another plate. And where's my circuit one? I think my circuit one's still over at the other base. Oh, I'm ready to get some automation done and applied energistics set up so that it'll be a little bit easier accessing things, um, you know, long range. But I need to take you guys over there, actually, because I've done a little bit of building since last episode. Let me grab this. Looks like we got a zombie coming over here. Um, but I've done a, a bit of building over here since last episode. You know, I'm trying to work on getting us kind of moved over here and set up for HV. Um, <clears throat> because I think HV is the point where we're going to start really automating things. Um, I have a feeling. Um, but you'll notice I did start filling in some of this and, uh, you know, building it out a little bit. And then on this floor, I've started working and adding in carpenter's blocks, which are fairly easy to make at this point um, due to the fact that we have, uh, you know, pretty much infinite wood at this point. Um, let's see. I believe it was in... No? Oh, that's right. It was in uh, here. Integrated circuit one. Okay. So we'll bring that back over. Um... I did find a really nice design um, for or automation once we get to HV as well. Um, you know, we could start setting it up right now, um, but HV is where we're going to get the pulverizer, which is going to really revolutionize um, our ore processing, it seems like, um, because it does produce more materials than... Um, you know our current setup can produce which would be kind of nice um, to get up and going as quick as we can Let's see do I have any oh uh, maybe I don't have any poly cap oh yeah polyethylene here we go and we'll put that and then we need the no, not you. HV machine casing. And then we need those gold wires. Okay. And we should be good now on this. No? Am I, uh, am I incorrect on something? Oh, it's polyethylene on the sides and just stainless in the middle. Okay. I had it backwards. 
Okay, put that in there. Then that. Okay. And that'll get us that. I'll, I'll need to make some recipes for some of this stuff, but I'll do it later. Um, I need to actually get all these XACT crafters put together because I know Jason said they, they actually share inventory. So, I mean, we could have, you know, all of our recipes set up and just have all of our crafters set up and it would make life a whole lot easier. Go ahead and grab that material bag. It's a tier four. Whoa, that's different. We got iron, aluminum, uranium. Oh, shit. What the hell? Oh, it's a damn uranium. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. And we got, oh God, we got a long time of this. Oh my God, it's terrible. I just opened the material bag, so be careful. I can't even, oh my gosh. Uh, be careful when you open those material bags, uh, just for the ref, uh, just for the record. Oh man. Okay, so I tell you what, guys. What I'll be back. I don't have any milk, do I? I don't have any cows up here. Shoot. Ah. Uh, man. Okay, I'll be back once this wears off. I'm gonna go try to find a cow. Is what I'm gonna try to do, and get a little bit of milk because this is kind of horrible. And we've got slowness and everything. So, anyway, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, welcome back. Um, I actually... I managed to get a cow, or find a cow right down there. I didn't capture one. I need to capture one and bring it back up here. Um, but I did manage to find a cow and drink some milk and get rid of that. That was horrible and actually made my stomach start hurting after trying to run around with that. Like, it was hurting my eyes and making my stomach hurt. So, but we did get that quest done, which is... Whoa! That's great, and we have a ton of stuff here. Oh my god, there's stuff everywhere. This is not LSD. Oh, steam turbines. Um, that would actually be right up our alley, I think, for using our steam for um, for power. Then we've got uh, macerator. Um, okay, this one yields byproducts can also be used to recycle your obsolete machines into dusts. This feature is not the same as with a disassembler. The sim disassembler will break the machine into its subcomponents while a universal macerator will grind it into pure dusts. And Shingeki no Kyojin? Uh -huh. I'm trying to think of what that was from. It's from an anime, but I can't quite place it off the top of my head. I don't know. Um, anyway, but the, okay, this is to obtain titanium. You need to do quite some processing. The first step is acquiring rutile dust, which can be obtained by processing bauxite in the electrolyzer or ilmenite together with carbon in the electric blast furnace. So, bauxite in the electrolyzer. I'm pretty sure that we have bauxite somewhere buried in this mess of ores that we have. Um, oh yeah, we've got a bunch of it. So I think that would actually be the easiest way. Let's see, what other quests do we have here though? We've got make refinery gas. To ma oh, we're making Teflon there. Um, vacuum freezer. To cool down hot ingots produced near blast furnace. Well, we're not making any hot ingots yet. Um, get cracked. The cracking unit. Okay. That's for breaking down oil. Uh, advanced autoclave 2. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here. But titanium is something we really need to work towards because that's the way that we are going to advance in Thalmcraft. Um, as well as get into applied energistics and I think really move forward at this point so we're gonna need rutile dust process bauxite in the electrolyzer now to do that let's see 
Does there, what kind of electrolyzer do we need for that? Well, you know what, there's no... Oh, it's probably for the dust, right? Maybe... Impure pile? No, that's centrifuge. Normal bauxite? Here we go. We would need... Oh, God. We would need a lot of bauxite dust for that. Um, it does produce some hydrogen gas, oxygen cells, and quite a bit of aluminum, which is not bad. But, my God. <laughs> and then we've got chlorine. To get that... Electrolyzed rock salt, looks like, would, uh, would yield chlorine. Um, also salt, apatite, and sodalite. Um, and then we've also got carbon here. And to get carbon, um, so we've actually, haven't we done carbon already? Centrifuge, ashes, graphite, yeah, I think we've actually done this before. <clears throat> um, actually that rubber wood recipe would be perfect um, tungsten carbine and there's no a coal dust I think is how we've done it in the past okay so the other way to get rutile is Ilmenite together with carbon in the EBF. So, let's see. The blast furnace, carbon, and ilmenite. Quart, and a lot of AU per tick. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's like already at HV. So give me just a second, I'm gonna get some stuff together and we'll see about making some of this. Maybe. Okay, welcome back. Um, so the way that we're going to get our carbon, I do believe, is we are going to use these uh, tiny piles of dark ashes from when we were running the, um, you know, the old blast furnaces when we were getting steel, like these that are out here. Um, you know, we ran those for quite a while and got a, an absolute ton of um, these dark ashes. And if you take these and run them through the centrifuge, you'll get two things of ashes. So, let me grab this stuff here. And if we get that going, each of these are going to, you know, yield two dark or two ashes for us. Then those ashes can in turn be centrifuged for um, the carbon dust. So, pretty easy way, pretty cheap way to get. Oh, does it take two? For that, two of these, four. one I say I cannot find that there we go I'm guessing it takes two but anyway so we've got that and then we can put it back through here and get our carbon dust that way uh, which would be fine maybe we haven't made carbon I don't know I can't say for sure um, and then for our rutile dust um, what we're gonna do is I've been running uh, there we go. oh I thought I already put that in there no that won't macerate will it does it have oh it has to be smashed with a hammer first my bad I'm derping. Oh, I gotta make a new hammer because mine um, actually broke. And we've got that hammer block, but I feel like that's kind of slow. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go with just iron. Okay, we've actually got iron on us. So let me grab a stick. We'll get that stuff hammered down and work it to. Uh, just quickly work it into being uh, the bauxite dust and then we can start running that through no 
that's not right. Oh, that's right, I need plates, no? I get all mixed up sometimes with some of these recipes. Oh, other, other way, my bad. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Now we should be able to... No, <laughs> I guess not. See, it says we can macerate it. But I think maybe that's the other, that's the other macerator. Okay, maybe we have to run this through the hammer machine. Which, I can't recall where that's even at. We did make one, didn't we? Huh, okay. Maybe, maybe we did. Um, maybe not. Okay, scratch that idea. Um, we can maybe make a hammer, I guess. I guess we could actually look into up, well, no. There's these canthal coils that would increase our power let me see here okay give me one second actually okay welcome back um, so I've got some electronic circuits here and we'll get this crafted up now all right so we should oh, that was the silver wire that we needed okay my inventory is awful right now um, let's actually just throw that in there. That in there. Okay. And now to get our chlorine, we're going to need to electrolyze some rock salt. Um, so let's go ahead and get ourselves some rock salt. No. No. <laughs> okay. And hammer block. Okay. Um, and then let's go ahead and make this hammer machine. We'll make the... Steam Forge Hammer. I could have swore we made one of these at some point. Maybe not. For some reason I just feel like we had made one. I know we've got the steam one upstairs, but... We've got a bunch of junk in here. There's that forge hammer, but that's the steam one. Really? Okay. When did... I made that advanced electrolyzer for something, and I can't recall... That's right, I made it for over there, and then we didn't end up using... Oh my god. That's what I'm saying. Say, like, I have... Just stuff everywhere. <laughs> We're gonna have to uh, get it all sorted. So okay, so I'll make a hammer really, really quick. Um, we're going to have to get ourselves. That's all pretty easy. The main thing is this anvil, but just a bunch of iron for that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> One of these days we're gonna have applied energistics, and life's gonna be so much easier. So much easier. Um, okay. Because I keep... Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to have to run this to the compressor. Uh, I can't remember. Yeah. Right here. 1827. You guys get to see me like mega derp today. It's wonderful. Alright. So this... Um, 
we're gonna need electric pistons, some good electronic circuits, some copper around the edges, and keep in mind, always you just use the copper cable for crafting this kind of stuff. Um, if you don't have to use a needle, just because it's a lot cheaper and easier to do, um, you know, on your resources and everything. So we'll get that set up, and then we should be, once this is done, we should be good to go um, on that. So that's going to take care of our bauxite and our rock salt. Yeah, and we're going to get this chlorine. And we got all these oxygen cells. Okay, I got a couple empty cells. Which would be perfect for finishing this out. So, we'll get this crafted really, really quick. Uh, up there, over here. Okay. We'll get that. And then we should be all set now to get our hammer. Ooh! Cheaper than a macerator. Okay. And let's go. We've got our rock salt. We've got our bauxite. All right. So we should be good to go now um, to get this stuff processed and take our first step towards titanium. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to have to upgrade some stuff as we go, though. Um, because it is... It seems like there's going to be a lot of steps to this. Titanium's going to take a little bit, so. But we'll at least get this started processing and everything. Um, we won't. We probably won't make titanium this episode, but, you know, we'll have our first step forward. Um, let's go ahead and... This won't run through. It will run through. There. Oh, my God. Okay, well, let's we'll pull this up for right now and set up our forge hammer. Oh, that's fast. I like this thing. I like this thing a lot. It is very, very, very fast. Okay, so, and then we've also got this electrolyzer that needs to be set up. So let's go ahead. We'll remove our alloy smelter for right now. Okay, but it looks like you just get one. You don't double it like you do with the macerator. Okay, so maybe the forge hammer's not as good, you know, as the macerator if you can avoid it. <coughs> so now this one we can do by hand. We can also run through the macerator. The There's this grossular dust that we can get. Um, but we're kind of kind of in a rush, not really in a rush, but we want to get this stuff. So, let's see here. Don't we, no, we electrolyze it, that's right. 39 of it to 11 empty sails. Goodness gracious. Okay. So let's go ahead and get ourselves 39 of the dust, just because we can. And then to purify it, we'll just run it through this centrifuge um, to get that done. And then this crushed rock salt, I guess we'll do the same with all of that. We really just need a couple pieces of this, honestly. If I recall correctly, to get our chlorine. Okay, we're gonna need four pieces of it. And this is like rather expensive stuff. So uh, we'll run over and get that centrifuging. And while we're waiting on that, we'll actually do another one of the quests from the quest book. Uh, kind of start trying to fill out that MV section there. So it seems like MV and HV are both on the same uh, chapter there. So 
it doesn't seem like there's going to be too, too many HV quests, but, you know, upgrading, you know, across the board kind of goes without saying. Um, so let's go ahead. We'll send this through the... Like, what centrifuge? Normal centrifuge? I can remember because there's like two different centrifuges. Okay. There we go. Get that going. <sighs> All right. And while this is running, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the cheaper circuits. So we'll need this medium voltage wiring. It takes uh, ruby lens. Yeah, right there. And then a near annealed copper foil. So that's not too bad. The lathe. And then we need the cutting saw. Not a problem. I actually should have some of those laying around somewhere. So give me just a second to get this stuff together. Copper foil integrated circuit one with a copper plate. That's not bad at all. Um, but yeah, give me just a second. I'm going to get this stuff together and then I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, welcome back. Um, so we've got our ruby lens now. And we'll just throw this in the... Um, I believe it's that precision thingamajig. I actually got it set up down here, so yeah. So we'll throw this in there along with, um, there we go, copper foil, and get a bit of this stuff made, I guess. I don't know. I have a ruby lens somewhere from before, but I don't know what I ever did with it. Oh, we're going to need more than that. Whoops. Shoot, I should have brought more with me. One second, let me go grab some more. I thought it was four. I didn't realize it was eight. Okay, okay, welcome back. So I got the rest of that etched medium voltage wiring, and I also made up some more uh, empty cells here. But then they want us to get some of these basic, what, two of these basic circuit boards, um, which we can craft those with just that medium wiring and then the um, empty circuit boards in the flooring press. So let's grab a couple of these. We'll run that over there. Um, I also got that. Yeah, okay, it's done. We got that rock salt process. So now we should be able to run everything through the electrolyzer and um, get the rest of that stuff for the first stage of titanium. Um, so it looks like we're able to make titanium now. It's just, it's just very, very involved. Um, but I do feel like we're probably going to hit a point fairly soon um, where we're not. We're going to have to make some, you know, upgrades, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. <coughs> I don't know. Well, we'll find out. We will find out. So, the forming press. And we'll throw all this in there. And get our basic circuit boards. And so now we can get our material bag for that. It is a tier 3. And let's go ahead and set up our electrolyzer. Um, to get our chlorine. And let's throw... Nope, not that. We want to keep that. We'll throw some of this stuff into here for right now. And so we've got two potassium and then we got ourselves a couple... Oh, I can't pull that out that way, can I? Should have, yeah, I got one pressurized tube and a drum. And I'm about out of food, actually. Okay. So we'll set this to extract. Alright. And then we'll throw our bauxite in there and a bit of these and get that processing. And we should be able to get our chlorine cells and now we just need that rutile dust that we should get here in just a second so oh my gosh there's so much unlocking here all of a sudden it's kind of overwhelming let's take a look at the shop oh we can purchase emeralds and diamonds now no 
Stop it. How are you running out of power? How much power do you need to run that? Oh my god. Stop it. Stop it. God. 90 EU a tick. Well, we're giving it 128. Where am I going? We should be anyway. I mean, I don't have anything else running. And like right there's the electrolyzer. How do you not have enough steam? Hmm. Okay, give me one second. Here. Okay, I think what we're gonna do is I just stole this battery buffer uh, that we were using over there. Let's see, do I have any wires on me actually? I do not. Okay. Well, we'll just set it up right here. Let it hook in and give it a battery. And then once this battery like starts to run out, we can switch it really, really quick. Actually, I think it's got enough power in it and that'll be fine. Oh, these pipes suck. And I thought about switching over for the Greg Tech pipes. They're a little bit more set up, but I was like, well, I'll just wait till like we get something a little bit more permanent, maybe. Or HV power would be pretty nice. So maybe those steam turbines. I don't know. We're going to have to do something at some point fairly soon. I think so. All right. Just kind of wait till that stops running. And it looks like it's done now. So we'll steal this back really, really quick. And we'll set back up our steam turbine. Which I did, honestly, I kind of expected making that road tile was probably going to be a little bit of an energy hog. Which it was. No, that's not actually where I want you to go. So, No, that's okay. There we go. Good. Okay, so now we should be good to go. We should have our rotile and we can mark off the first section of crafting titanium as being done. Woot. We got a bunch of oxygen, a bunch of aluminum, and two rotile. Great, so now tetrachloride. Created by reacting rutile, carbon, and chlorine in a chemical reactor. The magnesium is rarely used in GT, and many ores contain it in small amounts. By now, you should have enough for all your needs. If not, just process some marble or obsidian dust for more. So to get this stuff, magnesium... Let's see. Chemical reactor... Magnesium chloride and sodium? Surely not that. That's terrible. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of research and figure out titanium tetrachloride. I have, a, <laughs> I have this sneaking suspicion that HV times are going to be fun for us. Here. So to get this titanium tetrachloride, chemical reactor with carbon and rutile, at, yeah, okay, at 480 EU a tick, or crushed bauxite and titanium comb to get that with chlorine. So, yeah, we're going to need to move up to HV power. So next episode, I think we'll start dipping into HV power a little bit, um, maybe get something set up. I've got to figure out something, but we'll probably be setting up our um, steam turbine. So, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not entirely sure just yet, but uh, we'll take a look at it. Oh, we got a material bag, didn't we? Just a tier three, though. We got some lead and maybe some iron, I think. I don't know. Or maybe some steel. I think it was steel. Lead and steel. 
<coughs> seems like tier four is what we actually need to actually get anything you know relevant to what we're using at the moment so um but anyway i'm going to end the episode out there if you guys enjoyed it as always please comment like subscribe it's very very much appreciated and next episode we will start dipping into hv and try to figure out something um with that maybe start using up our steam um that way and here fairly soon we'll probably start looking into some base automation and uh, applied energistics because I think it's long overdue and I think we're actually reaching the point that that would be really, really nice. So, and I'm going to try to keep working on the base and get this kind of uh, designed out and stuff because it's something I feel like we're going to need fairly soon. So, um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you guys join me for next episode and until then do take care and I hope to see you guys then.